Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy. Today is August 29th as of the recording of this video and Google just pushed out its latest software update for Android 15 QPR 1 Beta 1 and this one is ending with Beta 1.1. So just the other day, we uploaded what was new with Beta 1. It wasn't too much, but I will actually cover it in this video going really quick of those three different new changes. But this one right here, the Beta 1.1 does have a bug fix, and it also adds the support for the brand new Pixel 9 devices. And for me, because I already had the first Beta 1, the update wasn't large. It was 3.66 megabytes. Now, if you are interested in joining this beta program, I will actually place a link below this video inside the description. So this way you'd be able to join in. And it goes all the way from the Pixel 6 through the Pixel 9, which I think Android 15 should have been launched with the Pixel 9 series probably during the month of September, but they wanted to probably release the Pixel 9 during August to get some sales out the door. So you can see here that this release date was August 29th, and the first beta was pushed out just a week ago on August 22nd. So with this minor update here, there was a bug fix where they pretty much were able to fix an issue that could sometimes cause a device to restart unexpectedly. Also, what I think personally with this point one update is that the animations got a little bit quicker and a little bit more smooth, which I'll show you that here in just a second. And also too, when you take a look at the updated devices, they finally threw in the Pixel 9 and the Pixel 9 Pro XL. So now let me show you the animations and the speed of this device. I feel like this beta 1.1 is faster than the beta one. So if I was just to swipe up, you can just see how much quicker it goes into the home screen. So I think that that's quicker and more smooth than what we just had from that update from one week ago. Also, what is new with Android 15 QPR one is that when you press and hold on a quick settings little box, it'll actually kind of expand the box a little bit. And as it opens up, you'll be greeted with a vibration. Now, the thing about this one too, is that it seems to be going into the quick settings actually quicker. So this little middleman step where if you press and hold and then it kind of expanded into a larger box and then the settings opened up, that little section right there of that box opening, they kind of made it go a little bit quicker. So I think that it's going into these settings quicker than what we just got from just one week ago. Now, another feature that was a part of the first beta one that we saw here, so QPR one, beta one, was the predictive back when it comes down to your Gboard. So pretty much when you have your keyboard that is popped up, as you're about to go back, it's doing the predictive back and it's bringing the keyboard down a little bit. Now beforehand, either your keyboard would do absolutely nothing or it would kind of swipe over to the left a little bit. Now what it does is that it does go down and it does it inside of the settings. It does it in multiple applications. Anytime you go back, predictive text or the predictive back that you're doing here will start to preemptively bring your keyboard down and swiped out. Now, the other thing that was also changed is I have to restart my phone here really quick to show you the other brand new animation. And once you put in your code, you tap on next. This is the new animation that you're greeted with as it's loading into the wallpaper. Beforehand, what would happen is that your wallpaper would kind of show up immediately as things are kind of pulling in, but now you have that new little loading animation. So that is everything that is brand new when it comes down to Android 15 QPR1 beta update. Now, one thing that I am expecting with this QPR1 update is the ability of sharing wallpapers, and that means all of them that you create. So you can see that this little emoji wallpaper that I have set up over here, I am able to share this. When you go inside of wallpapers, and then you take a look over inside of more wallpapers, here's your emoji workshop. This is the one that I have created, and I have the share button, which means if I wanna share this wallpaper with somebody, I'm able to. Now, what I'm expecting is a part of this QPR1 update at some point that any of these little wallpapers that you have created via AI, that share button, I'm really hoping will hopefully pop up. So who knows, maybe between now and Christmas, we'll be able to see a little share icon for any of the AI generated wallpapers. As I know, I get asked all the time, hey Jimmy, can you share me your wallpaper? And really, I can't unless if I'm just doing a screenshot and sharing it over Discord or something like that. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.